Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be all about finding your vendors. I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to find your vendor. Now this is definitely dedicated to the people that make your own products or looking to make your products and researching vendors. You can also take this in if you sell other cosmetics or probably sell clothing, but it's not dedicated in that area. But you may still take notes and still get some very great knowledge with finding your vendors. When researching for your vendors, these are the things that you should keep in mind. Search for the exact thing that you are looking for. Please also remember that you might have to make changes while researching a product and or a vendor. We are looking for an, an electric overhead stirrer. But when I googled it, I searched up the word electric stirrer. And as you can see, it is several different things that is not what we're looking for. So now I clear whatever I searched up and then I Googled electric stirrer for cosmetic making. Boom, we found it. As you can see, you can see several things that might even still not match what you're looking for, but the fact is that you found it now. And I also want to put out this, that when having a business, books are really helpful and searching on the internet. Yeah, you can go to other people, but you really want to learn for yourself, especially business is kind of like college. You know how like when you have homework, college teachers don't really teach you how to do it. You're basically teaching yourself and that's basically what business is about, is teaching yourself. You can go to different people, but you really won't learn until you actually take the time out and just research everything on your own. Which walks me into the next things I am going to say. Be patient when finding vendors. You're not going to always find things on your first search. It might take days, weeks, even months to find a good vendor or something that you really, really are looking for. But be patient. When looking for your ingredient vendor, and once you have found that vendor, now it's time to do research on that vendor. For example, making cosmetics. Making cosmetics is one of my ingredient vendors that I have found. Now I am going to look further into their business, going through their website, learning things, their stories, everything that I need to know as a consumer and also making cosmetics for my customers. I need to know what this business is about and what are their core values as a business. So I read their about us tab, look at their privacy notice, terms and condition, and look at their website all around. Next, I am going to look up reviews about the vendor. And as I Googled making cosmetics, a bunch of YouTube videos came up. So then I see that they have a YouTube channel. Scrolling, looking at their YouTube channel, looking at their videos. And then also I'm looking at what other people have to say about this brand. You guys, please remember that all tools that we have are in fingertip reach. And what I mean by that is back in my parents' days, they used to have to use encyclopedias, dictionaries, um, other books, but we actually have it in our, if we don't wanna pick up a book, we can literally go to the internet, search something up, and it's right there. Internet is basically the book, but a quicker and easier book to use. And we have to use that to our advantage. If you have questions, call your vendors, ask them, email them. You, you might not be able to call them, but email them. Ask them questions. Maybe you would like to sample a product. You can always email or call them and ask them how does sampling ingredients work? Or how does sampling a product work? And any other questions that you might have about the business or how they uh, maybe ship things or package your order, I don't know. Ask, ask questions. It's always cool to ask. You can ask through the phone or you can ask through email. But for you to get an understanding about what the business does and what you can and cannot do with this business. And then you can see if you actually want to still work with them or not. Okay, so now that we got into how to look up your vendors, that is pretty easy. I think that is pretty easy on how to look up your vendors and doing research on them asking them questions. Now I am going to hand you guys some vendor that you can research on and possibly use it for your business. For ingredients, we have bettershebutter.com. They sell butters, 
oils, waxes, flowers, DIY kits, and more. Bulk Apothecary, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Bulk Apothecary, Bulk Apothecary.com, which sells a variety of ingredients like oils, herbs, waxes, butters, preservatives, and more. Lovinsoaps.com. They have e-classes which teaches you how to make bar soaps and also have e-books that has recipes on making and creating soaps. Makingcosmetics.com. This is what I use and I really, really love this company so much. But they sell all kinds of ingredients, share formulas for free, have books and more. So they literally have a formula tab where you can look through and take some of the formulas. I personally wouldn't use it for my business because it's just like it's not original. But I would definitely test out certain ingredients in those formulas and see how it works. You know, learn, especially if you're using like a shampoo and you see like maybe Cetereth 20 is in that shampoo or you can see how it works and formulate with it. Formulator sample shop com they have botanicals oils powders wholesale clays and equipment and more so now we're getting to the packaging and office supplies we have visaprint.com well known for business cards but also sells product labels t-shirts posters flyers custom mugs and more zazzle.com they have all types of business cards face masks clothing accessories and more moo.com has marketing materials such as like posters canva.com you can make your own designs for your business cards and request to get them shipped to you they also have all kinds of editing tools like youtube thumbnails flyers marketing on social media and more if you guys would like a youtube video on how i edit my content for my business page please let me know i would love to show you guys how to get creative with your marketing uline.com you can get mailers boxes labels containers gloves shrink wrap ppe and more packagingprice.com all types of boxes cushioning tapes and more packaging things you might need for your business uprinting.com you can have you can custom your boxes and they also have some other things like boxes for products labels and etc granger.com all types of packaging cleaning equipment lab and office supplies so much on their website that you might be interested in packline.com which you can make custom packages from small to large boxes and design with different colors, shapes, and etc. For containers now, usplastic.com have all kinds of containers, labware, and more. Cosmeticpackagingnow.com has all kinds of containers like cosmetic jars, airless bottles, lip gloss tubes, and more. Containerandpackaging.com which is what I use all the time. They are pretty good with shipping in a timely manner. I love this company so much. They have plastic containers, glass containers, metal containers, and etc. I also use Amazon sometimes and even eBay if like if I want a certain container. And they have great deals, especially if you're starting off really small and you don't want to pay so much for containers or packaging. I would definitely look into Amazon and or eBay. Make sure you guys are just being frugal. And also if you would like shipping to be quick quicker i would definitely go to amazon because amazon is like a two day to even one day shipping so that would be very helpful for you guys you guys don't forget to subscribe like i literally drop gems for you guys for free for freaking free literally gave you guys all these vendors and you know how i gave you guys these vendors is because i did my own research on the bit on the vendors and also used google so if i can do it you can do it but this is to help you just in case if you're starting your business or looking for vendors but you couldn't find your own this is why i am here please don't forget to smash on that like button don't forget to comment down below let me know what you want to see next what type of information you need from me and also you guys make sure you go support my business by either following it um i post all types of different things about formulating i'm starting to get into that and i also have a second business that is coming which is natural name formulations um if you're into formulating and getting a one-on-one -on -one cons
consolation with me uh it's up there but right now i am not available to take anybody in but i will be available by may 31st um and if you would like a custom formula that's definitely where you'll go to natural name formulation i'm getting a website ready and just things getting ready for you guys to kind of go to instead of actually going through natural nay which is my business where i sell hair care and skincare products i hope you guys like this video um see you guys till next time bye